Hi guys, welcome to Me and My Golf. I'm your coach, Andy. Pierce has still left me, but today we're gonna to be showing you how a can of white spray paint can transform your iron downswing. Let's take charge of your game. So if you wanna have the chance to win a swing analysis with myself and Pierce, plus a 12 month membership to meandmygolf.com and 18 birdies, here's what you need to do. For your chance to win a swing analysis, simply click on the link in the description below where you can enter your details for a chance to win. Good luck with that. Now, let's take a look at this week's lucky winner. Hi, Piers and Andy. Thank you for choosing me for winner of the swing analysis. Uh, I'm really suffering with an open face and not a lot of body rotation at the moment, which is causing a big slice and a bad contact bottoming out and thinning the ball. Uh, can you help me take charge of my game? Thank you. So welcome to the beautiful 14th hole here at the Asprey in Shropshire, England. And Pierce, as you can see, is still away, still on holiday, but he's back soon. Now, let's take a look at Peter Chatham's golf swing. He's looking to hit more fairways and greens. He's struggling with a slice and he's hitting the ground before the golf ball with his irons. So key things we're gonna look for in this one are really gonna help you, Peter, to strike the golf ball more solid and hopefully get rid of the slice. And we're really gonna look at what the body is doing in the golf swing. So let's take a look. It's 24 handicap, by the way, as well. Um, front on view first. We'll take a look at his backswing. I think the backswing actually is very, very good. There may be a tiny bit of a sway there, but I'm not too worried about that at this point. So really nice looking backswing of what the body's doing. Now, if we go into the downswing here, we'll see that the lower body starts to shift towards the target. But at the point of impact here now, we'll see the head wants to move back a little bit and the left shoulder is sort of behind the golf ball and not quite over the lead side enough, not quite over the hip and, and over the ankle. And this is what, what causes the club to bottom out a little bit too early and hit the ground before the golf ball. Now, when we take a look at the down the line view, what we're gonna notice on this is, we're gonna put a, uh, a box around Peter here, and we're gonna really look at what his posture is doing through the golf swing. So again, good backswing, very much similar to John Rahm. He gets the left wrist a little bowed, club face nice and strong. But what we'll see in transition here in the downswing, we'll see his pelvis move towards the golf ball, what we call early extension, and his head move up and back. So he is losing the body angles throughout the golf swing. Now, when he loses those body angles, that's when the club's gonna bottom out early, and he's gonna struggle to rotate from there. And we'll see on the through swing here, the sort of club goes up, very much up, it gets that little bit of a chicken wing and a very high finish, and you'll see the body now is in a very upright position. So, if we can improve your posture throughout the golf swing, Peter, we're gonna be able to get that ball followed by the turf. Now, if we can do that, it's gonna be a massive help. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at is, this is what we want you to do when you practice. Get some white spray paint, spray it on the ground if you've got access to grass. If you haven't, get, a ch get some chalk and do it on the mat. But all we want you to do is spray that, put your golf ball on that line. Now, when it comes to the contact for you, Peter, you'll, you make a real nice backswing, you load that leg, but as you shift the, on the way down, the lower body starts, but the upper body hangs back. And from here now, it gets your club bottoming out too early there, hitting the ground potentially first, or just picking it off the top. It's gonna to be very difficult to get ball turf and get that divot that you wanna create. So the idea with this is really, we've got the white line to encourage you to get your bottom of the golf swing more after the golf ball. So we can really see there, when I'm doing the practice swings, I'm brushing the ground past that line. And this is going to encourage that ball followed by the turf. Now let's talk about how we're gonna do that and what we're gonna change the body to do. Now, all you need is another golf club for this. And we're gonna place it on the ground, like so. Now, we talked about how your posture's changing, Peter. And if I just take, if I show you what we're looking for in the golf swing, so we're looking for a nice wind up on the way back where we maintain some of the body angles that we start with. Now in the downswing here now, down through to impact, we want to again, be very similar. We don't want to lose too much of those angles we create through the golf ball. But we know with you, Peter, we start here, pelvis moves in, head moves back, and we don't really rotate and get through it. So what we want you to do, club on the ground. This is a matchup drill that we normally do for the backswing. We're going to flip it onto the downswing place the golf club across your shoulders. And what we're gonna get you to do here in the setup, we're gonna get you to move sort of to impact and through. But the idea is to match the club up over the one on the ground. Now you can see here now, I'm getting my upper body covering 
my lead side. And this is going to get my bottom of the golf swing more forward and get me to shift that weight. But notice from the down the line view, look at my right shoulder, how it's staying low. I don't want to do this and come out of my posture. I'm going to make sure my right shoulder stays low and I match it over that. I can really feel now all the weight getting into this leg. And this is a great feeling for you because it's going to get that bottom of the golf swing after the golf ball. So once you've done a few of those, take that feeling to the shot, but maybe do a few practice ones first. So the feelings that I'm creating from that is my right shoulder was very low and forward. And that's again going to give me that, that turf strike that we want. So right shoulder low and forward, and I'm through when I hit the golf shot. Do that one more time, right shoulder low and forward. And as a result, my posture is better through the shot. My club swings a little bit more around the body because I'm really opening up the body on the way through. So you should hit some shots doing this and you should start to see that you could take some of the line and the ground after the line here. So if you start hitting the ground a little bit before, we know we're still hanging back a little bit there. So let me hit a shot here. And all I'm really going to focus on is getting my right shoulder down and forwards and rotating through, really feeling that pressure is going into that lead leg. Slightly lower flight than normal, as you'd expect. I didn't take much turf there, but I actually grazed the grass past the golf ball there. And this is what we're looking to do. The bottom of the golf swing there was after the golf ball. Now, quick question for you guys. When we talk about low point, what do we mean? Post your comments down below. Love to get your thoughts on that. We will pin the correct answer to the top of the comment section. So look, really important there that you understand how important it is to maintain those body angles through the shot. And some very simple things there with the white line that you can do to help you strike the golf ball more, more efficiently. But also what, what's going to happen with you, Peter, there, as you rotate the body better through the golf ball, it's going to square the face up and get rid of those slices that you are hitting there. So some great things for you to work on. So hope that helps. Make sure you post your comments and questions down below. If you really enjoyed the video, then hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps us reach more golfers and help you guys play better. Now also, Break 90 is almost here. Our brand new coaching plan launches on the 23rd of July, where we take you through and guide you through six weeks to help you break 90. You don't want to miss this one, guys. So if you want to have the chance to win this coaching plan, plus an Adidas outfit logoed with me and my golf, and a set of tailor-made M4 irons, make sure you click the link in the corner, and good luck.